All right, guys, welcome back to a video about origami. Um, last week, I showed you this flower at the end of my video. This is an iris and paper, obviously. Um, I will show you guys how to do this origami right now, but I have to warn you, this is not an easy origami. It has a, a step at some point near the end that is quite hard. Well, I, I used to think that it's hard. I'm now used to it, and I now think it's easy. But when I started origami, I hated this part. But whatever, this makes a nice origami. So I have to show you guys how to do this origami. Alright, let's start. As usual, you want to have a squared paper. And I will give you a few seconds to make yourself a square. Alright, that's long enough. Now, um, as usual, just make a diagonal. Another one in an X shape, just like that. All right, once you have your X shape, you want to turn your sh paper over and then make a plus, make a plus shape. Just fold everything like this in half. Open it, just turn it, do it again. All right, so you now have um, everything, you have your plus shape right here and then your X. You want to make sure your X is kind of coming out of the paper and the plus going in as you can see. Now you want to take a, a four corners and bring them all together just like that. And then make sure everything is flat. So you should have two flaps on each side. One flap here, well two here and then two here. And make sure that you keep the opening at the top over there. Okay, now you want to take one flap and just squish it to the middle, just like this. Just squish it like this. Make sure that all the lines are lining up, just like that. And just, just fold everything then. So turn it over once it's done. Do it again with one flap. Just squish it, make everything uh, well aligned then you're going to end up with this on each side and this side and the one the other one then you want to take the right the small uh, flap right here on the right flip it on the left side so just like this and then with the big flap here repeat the same steps just flat it squish it and then once that is done, flip your paper around, take the same small flap, fold it on the left side, and repeat with this big flap. Just squish it to the middle, just like that. Alright, so now you should have a shape that looks like this. It looks kind of ugly, complicated, but whatever. You're going to see, you want to take just one flap here and fold it onto the middle line so just like that just repeat the same step on the other side here and once that is done what you want to do is the hard part the part that I warned you at the beginning that's coming right now so you just fold these two sides open them once again and take the inside you see and um, these lines are um, ending right here. You want to imagine like an invisible line that goes from these two points. And fold this uh, on this invisible line. So kind of like this. So right here you have two lines that are ending at the middle here you want to make a line like that fold this like this and then I don't know how to explain this part but you want to do this like that so once again you're, you have this open it Fold it toward you and 
just make everything flat like that. And this little flap triangle you have, fold it to the top, just like this. Now flip your paper over, repeat the same steps. Take this small flap, fold it onto the middle line, just like that. Same thing on the right side. And repeat the hard step. Open it. Imagine the invisible line. And then just fold it. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm kind of used to it now, but it's still the hardest part of this origami. And then you have this. What you have to do is now just flip your origami in half like this and repeat two more times on this side just flip fold these two and then you're gonna have to turn it over and fold again same thing two more times and then we will be almost over so once again you have the hard step There you go, flip it around, once more, and then the hard part will be over, everything else is pretty easy. Alright, now what you want to do is take the left flap, fold it onto the left side like this, and then I'm going to take half of this uh, flap, fold it onto the middle line. Same thing for the other side. Just like this. Should look like something like this. After this, flip your origami on the... Actually, before this, take this flap, fold it at the bottom. Just like that. Flip it over. Over. Repeat the same thing, left, uh, right flap to the left side, and then just fold this to the middle line. Just like that. Flip this big flap at the bottom. Then just flip your origami, split it in half, and repeat two more times. So these two slides here, big at the bottom, flip it, two sides to the middle line, big at the bottom, and one more step, the easiest one, make this uh, perpendicular, same thing for the other two, like that. And like that. And I hope your origami looks like something like this. My first iris looked like shit. So I hope you guys did better than me for the first time. And um, I hope you have something like that. And besides that, I will come back with the origami for the next video. So stick around. I'll be back in not too long. Alright guys, welcome back. So next week video, we'll, uh, I will show you guys how to do this. Little rectangle of paper. <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. It's an envelope. So it's uh, really easy to do. But since uh, this origami was quite hard, uh, we're gonna take a break next week and make an easy origami. So this envelope looks pretty neat, and it's useful if you have something to uh, you write to your friend and just give it instead of just giving him the paper. Well. Make an envelope and give it to him. It's cool. So yeah, it's an easy origami. So next time, next week, we'll be uh, we will take it easy. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please take two seconds, click the like button, and subscribe to see more videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.